Hello everyone. Merry Christmas and a happy new year in advance. I took out time today to be able to reach out to you, yes you out there, to understand that this should be a different kind of Christmas for you. And I'll tell you and explain why. If you're one out there consuming the content, I want to just, you know, put this picture in your head as what you're currently doing right now. You've gotten to that point where you're beginning to slow down. You're beginning to take a reflection of January to today. You're beginning to check the areas of your life that didn't go well and the areas that went well. All in all, you're getting ready, you know, for the new year. But what normally happens around this period, if you're not a vendor that provides an essential service during the festive period, what will naturally happen to you is that you will take your foot off the pedal, you begin to slow down, and you begin to accelerate more into that relaxed enjoyment phase. Let's have a good Christmas, let's celebrate, let's enjoy. There's totally nothing wrong with that. But today on the content, I want you to understand and I want you to try something because I am currently trying that as I speak now. My Christmas will always look like that. What I had said earlier on, getting to that period, slowing down, thinking about having a good time, spending time with people you love and all that. But this year is different. I have decided to continue to go hard at the same time, still have a good time. What does that simply mean? This Christmas, I did not take my foot off the physical pillar so i'm still working out and in fact i'm even working out more than i would have naturally worked out i'm still reading and i'm still learning and at the same time i'm still very much connected spiritually i haven't taken off any foot of my gas and at the same time i'm still having a good time in fact today i'm going to be having a dinner you know someplace what am i trying to simply say today let this christmas be different for you don't drop the ball. I want you to just continue doing what you're doing, you know. At the same time, still have a good time because when the new year comes, you'll be way ahead of everybody because everybody, guess what? They would have dropped the ball and wanting to pick it up at the new year. Don't forget, it's a Christmas period, a period for love, Thanksgiving, and most importantly, reaching out to those around us who we seem are disadvantaged you know, or seem to be less privileged. I remain a digital influencer in my usual, usual fashion. Let's have a Merry Christmas and a prosperous 2020. Cheers.